Hi there, Halu here. On Thursday, February 15th, 2024, we kickstarted the day with a quick caffeine fix at Knott's Coffee Roasters inside the Capiolani Hotel, fueling up for the exciting day ahead. But of course, no morning in Hawaii is complete without a spam Masubi fix, so we made a pit stop at Masubi Iyasume once again. We then embarked on a breathtaking 45-minute drive to Kualoa Ranch in Kaneohe. The scenery along the way was something out of a dream. Lush green mountains, overgrown grass, and the occasional shower of rain, creating a truly magical atmosphere. Arriving at Kualoa, we were greeted by a massive staircase that led us to our much-anticipated tour. <laughs> <laughs> I had asked my girlfriend multiple times if she wanted a poncho, to which she kept saying no until the last minute when our tour was about to leave. Come back here. Take this. <laughs> you do this to me. You don't want to want a poncho. Yeah, we have to record you. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the whole thing. me! <laughs> 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 what the heck? Okay, got it. You got it? No! <laughs> Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> like that, like that. Oh, hold on, kiddo. Hold on. Like that. <laughs> 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 They're very particular. <laughs> nice. And so our journey began. Our tour guide was an absolute hoot, combining humor and information as we explored the ranch. In only one scene here, right? This is what put the, us on the map for Hollywood. A lot of the Jurassic World one was done here. A few parts of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, right? So As we explored the ranch, we encountered wild animals. Now, look at this little baby one right here. <laughs> but you see that big guy? Oh my gosh, he would be hunted already if he was loose out in the open. <laughs> visited the famous Battery Cooper bunker, and even saw scenes from blockbuster movies and films like Lost, Jumanji, Godzilla, and Hawaii Five-O were filmed. Standing at the entrance gates of Jurassic World, surrounded by lush greenery, it felt like we had truly stepped into a prehistoric world. and put your hands up in the air guys you ready let's go don't drop your phone <laughs> oh. <laughs> following the adventure at kualoa ranch we decided to delve into Hawaii's culinary scene by visiting Waiahole Poi Factory. We tried the chicken long rice, milled poi, and haupia for dessert. 
While we are excited to try these traditional Hawaiian dishes, we have to admit it wasn't quite to our liking. Good idea. What do you think? I don't know. It's like green. But there's no taste to it. How do you eat koi? <laughs> Perhaps it's an acquired taste and we just haven't quite acquired it yet? So we just tried poi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like it? No. It was like a taro pudding dessert. But it's uh, tasteless. But it had no taste. I didn't really understand it. Was I, it a dessert? Was, do we, are we supposed to put it on the rice? <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. Next on our itinerary was the serene and historically significant Biodo Inn Temple, nestled at the foot of the Koalau Mountains. This non-practicing Buddhist temple is a smaller scale replica of the over 950 year old Biodo Inn Temple in Uji, Japan. The temple's peaceful atmosphere and stunning architecture left us feeling tranquil and deeply connected to the island's rich cultural heritage. As we made our way back to Waikiki, we impulsively decided to visit Pearl Harbor. Although our visit was brief, we managed to walk through the entire site, taking in its profound historical significance. It was a sobering yet impactful experience, and we're glad we made the impromptu stop. To wrap up the day, we headed to Rainbow Drive-In for a mouth-watering dinner. We savored the Hawaiian barbecue combo, loco moco, fries, and a burger, indulging in the flavors of authentic Hawaiian comfort food. Each dish was bursting with delicious island flavors, satisfying our hunger that the previous place didn't. As the day came to a close, we capped off our adventure with a quick splash in the pool, although the chilly waters sent us scurrying back to our room in no time. After washing up, we decided to get Raising Canes to enjoy with some Jurassic Park. Canes in Jurassic Park, aw oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. On Friday, February 16th, 2024, our day began with a symphony of flavors at Aloha Kitchen. Located on the Upper West Side of Waikiki, this local diner is a haven for Hawaiian style dishes and their famous souffle pancakes. We ordered the fruit souffle pancakes and the ono meal, complete with scrambled eggs, savory Portuguese sausage, steamed rice, and breakfast potatoes. Let me tell you, these potatoes were probably the best breakfast potatoes I've ever eaten in my life. Not too salty, but ever so crispy. Energized and ready for adventure, we stumbled upon a slice of Japan in Hawaii, Don Quixote. It was a treasure trove of eclectic finds from rare beauty products to intricate gunpla models. Pro tip, don't let the no filming rule stop you from capturing the experience. Next up, in an attempt to fill our day with activities, we drove over to the Honolulu Museum of Art, but were met with a $20 entrance fee. We passed. Seeking cultural immersion, we ventured into Capital Modern, a lesser known enclave in downtown Honolulu. Though it was quiet, the modern architecture and serene ambiance offered a refreshing contrast to the vibrant streets of Waikiki. As the sun climbed higher in the sky, we sought refuge from the heat at Po'ai by Pono Potions, a cozy coffee nook nestled within Honolulu's Chinatown. This tiny cafe offered a cute workspace in addition to their amazing caffeinated drinks. For myself, I got the Hi Ali, a lavender latte with almond milk and sea salt. And my girlfriend got the Aloha Tower, a molokai e hibiscus koalau coconut oat milk latte. In need of leisurely escape, we stumbled upon Skull Face Vinyl Records and Bookshop, a haven for music and literature enthusiasts alike. It was a perfect spot to unwind, flipping through records and soaking in the rest of our coffee. As dusk descended upon Waikiki, we found ourselves captivated by the wonders of the sea at Waikiki Aquarium. Like that, man. <laughs> Look at 
a little excited. <laughs> Stupid. Fun fact, did you know that they're home to the black and white clownfish named Emo Nemo? Hey, don't hide. It's Emo. After that, we went back to our hotel to relax a little before heading out for dinner. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> No. Our culinary journey led us to blue ocean seafood and steak, where despite the modest menu photos, the flavors spoke volumes. The steak and butterfly shrimp combo left us speechless, a true testament to the culinary prowess of Waikiki's hidden gems. Next up, we stumbled upon Sundays, a food truck, dishing out irresistible Hawaiian-style barbecue chicken that ignited our taste buds and filled our spirits. And of course, we couldn't resist grabbing a container of Tocino Spam from the Masubi shop to take home. Back at the hotel, we packed our memories into suitcases, cherishing every moment of our Hawaiian adventure. From tantalizing flavors to serendipitous discoveries, it was a day filled with unforgettable experiences and endless aloha. Welcome to February 17th, our last day in Hawaii. Once again, we kicked off our day at Knott's Coffee Roasters, the go-to coffee spot near our hotel that never disappoints. With our time in paradise drawing to a close, we decided to explore another pokey spot. We took a chance on Maguro Spot, located on the mid-east side of Waikiki, opting for a spicy shoyu bowl with fresh tuna and salmon. We found it to be decent, but not outstanding. The portions were on a smaller side and the prices felt a bit steep. We've definitely had better pokey elsewhere. Nevertheless, feeling satisfied Satisfied and ready for the day, we headed to Honolulu Zoo. It's always a bit surreal seeing wild animals in captivity, but we hoped that they were living their best lives. What are they eating? <laughs> Those birds are fighting. Cock fight. You know that's a thing? Dang! Eat that whole leaf in a second. Wow. That's how you eat. Wow. Yeah, that one. Eat the branch. He snaps the branch off and then he eats the leaf. So small. Damn. He's just demolishing it. Oh my god. He's exercising. Mm -hmm. Arm <laughs> <laughs> What the? It's a butt. It's a butt. You see that? Chill. The other one. <laughs> the day was beautiful with the sun shining and gentle island breeze. We enjoyed our time there, soaking in the close proximity to the animals. Afterward, we took a leisurely stroll down Kalakaua Avenue in search of a blue acai bowl, and we hit the jackpot at the Sunrise Shack within the Outrigger Resort. Choosing the blue dream bowl, we couldn't pinpoint exactly what made it blue. But from now on, all acai bowls must be blue. It was incredibly refreshing and packed with nutrition, perfect for a warm day in paradise. Following our acai bowl adventure, we made a beeline for Island Vintage within the Royal Hawaiian Center for another round of caffeine. I couldn't resist the Maui Lavender Latte, while my girlfriend opted for the Organic Hojicha Latte. Hands down, this was the best coffee we had throughout our entire trip. As the evening approached, we made our way to another food spot on our list, Paia Fish Market. Indulging in mahi-mahi prepared Cajun style and seafood pasta, we might have overordered. But hey, it's a vacation, and trying new dishes is part of the fun. Plus, we made sure to pack some leftovers for the flight home. Having explored nearly everything Hawaii had to offer, we decided to visit a cat cafe as our final stop. Entering Cat Cafe Moth within the International Marketplace, 
We expect it to be showered with love from the resident cats. However, to our surprise, none of them approached us. The only way to win their affection was with food. And even then, they were more interested in attacking the treats than befriending us. These were perhaps the least friendly cats we've ever encountered. As the day drew to a close, we savored one last glimpse of the sunset from Waikiki Beach, soaking in the beauty of our surroundings. Arriving at the airport, we took a shuttle to our terminal. They get to go home. Watch out for the traffic dump. Forgot about them. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> said, they, they make so much coffee today for like five, 55, people. <laughs> and each of the coffee costs $18 or more because you gotta pay for the gasoline to bring it over the ocean to us. <laughs> Checked in and enjoyed the remainder of our pasta before boarding our red eye flight back home. Thank you for joining us on our Hawaiian adventures. Crafting these vlogs have been a joy, and I hope you've enjoyed following along. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more travel vlogs, and drop a comment sharing your favorite hidden gems in Hawaii. Mahalo for watching, and until next time, aloha at you later.